I continued to feel uneasy about the decision for some time, leaving both the Grand Council and Aloran awaiting our return for so long. According to Valen, the Council understood the urgency of the situation and the importance of our mission for the Elves. Unfortunately, the same couldn't be said for the Demon Lord. It took Anya her best effort to persuade him to let us take the Ruby of Fire to enemy territory. It is decidedly not easy to deal with both the Council and my people without telling them of our pact with Aloran. What concerns me the most is the possibility that one of our men might accidentally or deliberately divulge information pertaining to the subject. This is not like every other time I have had to keep a secret for a greater good. Alone. It does raise the question of whether I have chosen my allies prudently or am making a big mistake. Then again, Malin would insist that the existence of that accursed artifact is a big mistake by itself. Episode 2, Scenario 6, The Voyage Home. The desert. I never thought I'd have to see it again. Ah, I feel unwell in these dry and bright lands. It can't be helped. Dark fairies are frail creatures that revel in the shadows of the greatest and densest forests. Really, the desert is no place for you. I'm sorry for dragging you along. A bit harsh there from Millenia. Eh, I guess not. Oh my lady, don't worry about me. I just need some time to adapt to this environment, that's all. My lady, if you'll allow me to complain, we can't just march across the desert without stopping to rest. The scouts reported the presence of orcs bearing the Chaos Banner in a settlement ahead to the southeast, in the Gralseth region. Stopping to rest here would be very risky with those fools around, but perhaps we could secure their settlement and replenish our supplies. Excellent! A word of caution, though. Ever since the fall, the many victims of the disasters which devastated Erdia have been endlessly wandering across lands like this on the souls of the living. They are particularly weak by themselves, but our arcane fire would be enough to banish them from our world. However, our less experienced fighters would not take their chances fighting them alone. Understood, my lady. Time to get moving. Okay, the objective is to defeat all enemy leaders and therefore secure the Orcish settlement to the southeast. Uh, we've got the usual notes about Zenara's ghost hiring. Um, we've got death if any of these four leaders lose. Uh, sorry, we lose if any of these four leaders die. Um, okay, looking at this map, we see a little cluster of ghosts here. We'll probably have to fight them um, if we want to go this way. Um, some villages. Um, we've got some villages here around a little castle and that is a good staging post for what's going to happen here um there are also this is an orc wall down here to the south of the river um and there's this slayer here over here there is really nothing useful there are no villages there's just ghosts and there is mount boombadil a nice uh, tom bombadil shout out at least i assume so otherwise it'd be a very strange coincidence Okay, so we don't have a great amount of gold to play with here. Um, and we need to, for the first part of the scenario, what we mostly need to worry about is units that can fight ghosts. The ghosts, I think, will also fight the, the orcs. Um, but um, the only place we can cross the river is all the way down here, at this, at these bridges. So we don't need to even bother thinking about going over this side, unless we want to fly over there with the... Uh, with flying units. Um, all of this means that I should be recruiting units that are good against ghosts, so that means units that do fire and arcane damage, which means more ghosts, but also fire fairies, because they'll move fast across the desert. So that's going to be the strat. These quick fire fairies, both of them, I think I will have because they're nice, you know, nice quick movement, um, and hopefully they won't be slowed down by the desert. 
Mm, not too much. Do I have any ghosts down here? No, I don't. Oh, I've got some quick sprites. It's tempting to take another one of those. Um, it's questionable whether these guys are going to be any good against orcs when I have to fight them, though. Um, I think it's probably better to have ghosts at that point. So I'll have my wraith. And then I'm going to recruit some ghosts. My lady, I can summon up to three more spirits. I can summon two more spirits. Yeah, we won't need to worry about that, because we are now going to use this little force already to start pushing. Let's go. Chief, the fairy! The fairy and her pets are approaching from the northwest! Ah, uh, just as the necromancer told us. Excellent news. More meat for our wolves. Yes, more meat for our pigs. Ah, I mean wolves. Shut up, you disgusting insect. Okay, that's quite a lot of orcs. No joke. Zainara is going to be particularly. Uh, I think both Zainara and Durvan. Um, I mean, Zainara actually has is, is quick, but Durvan is going to be really slow across here. Um, so I might have to kind of almost count him out as this scenario goes on. That's a lot of orcs, but I really don't want to have to mar march slow troops all the way across the desert. Doesn't look like these ghosts are going to attack the orcs. If so, that doesn't really make that much sense. Okay, so you come here. Actually, hmm. Will I even be able to reach that little fort before the main bulk of the orcs reaches me? Probably not. This might not have been a good strategy after all. Well, we'll see. Looks like they've stopped recruiting anyway. A sandstorm? We won't be able to continue marching like this. This small inconvenience shall not stop us. Onwards! Oh wow, I already thought it was looking bad. Well, I know where the ghosts are anyway. Be gone, wandering spirit! Ah, and you're banished. That's good. Does that... Do, can anyone banish? Um, Zainara is a necromancer. No option to make Zainara a lich, which is interesting. Okay. Um, 
gonna press on and hopefully those ghosts there won't bother to fight us. What actually is the quickest way? It's actually not, it's actually ignoring up here and going straight down. Okay, well, hmm. Could do that. I could just run in. There's only a few more ghosts down here, I think. Um, though it is true that I can't see them right now. Bit unlucky there. Good, you're banished too. Just now need to be careful what these three are going to do. What's your best way of... Okay, your, your best way really is to go the, the northern path. Alright, and Anya can deal with what's up here, and hopefully get this other village. Good thing Alinea's been getting all those strength upgrades. Ah, sweet. Not banished though, interestingly. Maybe fire or arcane is what's needed to banish. My lady, are you sure this is a good plan? It's better than tarrying here for too long, though it's good enough for me. <laughs> Alright, this ghost is basically bricking it. It's too scared to even come and fight me. So, I will go and fight it. Okay, another banishment, uh, and another errant soul. These aren't actually ghosts, they're errant souls, they're a bit weaker than ghosts, they don't have the hit points, which is useful. So, we will proceed. Now that fire attack did not banish the errant soul. Um, they're level zero as well. What about you? Can you banish? Yes. Okay, so basically arcane damage is needed to banish these people. Zanara, what's your easiest way of getting down here? Okay, you, you can go, you're, you're just as good going straight across the dunes. So you should do that. Meanwhile, Durvan... Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> Durvan, you're just going to be useless in this scenario, aren't you? Um, there's no other way of putting it. Okay, you could... Oh, you could go all the way back around there and then down along the river. That's actually quicker for you. Well, almost as quick, depending on where you want to go to. Interesting. Alright, so, in that case, you're going to follow Lady Tara. Anya. Not Tara, I'm getting my um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer characters confused. No one can heal Elinia. But she needs to make it over towards this castle, which she should do in four turns. But the orcs are going to make it to her in a few turns as well. Let's see if this works. Well, let's banish you. Get some easy experience for Anya as well. And you go and see what's going on down here. Are there orcs there yet? No, there aren't. Alright, good. The fastest orcs are just about reaching the area. There in three turns. Run, run.
And hopefully these ghosts who've moved fast will be able to deal with anything that comes my way until I can secure this castle. Then I think I'm going to need to hopefully probably recruit a couple of chonky units. Because uh, I, mean, I can only recruit two units a turn and that's a real limitation in a castle like this. As, uh, so that reduces my ability to just spam. My income's looking good, and I guess unless the unless the orcs go and ransack this area, which they might, they'll probably stay good. Right, so we got bones, but not much else. Okay, there's the main force. So Alinius needs to go. Fortunately, the, the orcs are as slow across the desert as I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. So can move six. Okay, so I could sit here on this. I can sit here on this village. That's fine. How fast are you? Fast enough to reach the backside of this guy. But not the front, so. Ah! Uh, another poor performance from a fire fairy. Okay, not quite a kill, but I'd rather not get in range of the bowman just yet, so I'm going to stay where I am. And over here, you can attack the drone, the, the uh, wraith, that's fine. The drone, what am I talking about? The drone's on the brain now. <sighs> okay, um, interesting, yeah, they really don't, they really don't like to attack the, uh, the orcs, these, these errant souls. Strange. You stay there, because I'll probably need to defend with some of these units over here. Uh, otherwise, we're good. Oh, the... Uh, okay, you could get that camp if you wanted to. Hopefully you don't want to. Okay, big angry orc energy. The orcs aren't attacking me, and the sandstorm's gone. Okay, so it doesn't look like the orcs are sending anyone up here to get my villages, which is nice. Dervin can continue his slow and uh, steady way towards the action. I'm going to send this ghost up here to grab this village, and I'll send Anya down here. And Alinea can now recruit. And not before time, because these guys are... they mean business. Um, it's the daytime. It's the desert. Um, and what I, what I now need to do is basically get to this... hold this camp area against... against the baddies. Against the uh, the orcs who are coming for me. Zanara is, is going to be okay as long as she doesn't get too far out of line with everyone else. Um, still the case that these folks are mostly quite slow. So... And even in the daytime you should be able to manage this. Going up to full health. You come around here and do this. Now you guys, you in particular, what happens if you move back? Can you get to the village? Yes. Oh, that's annoying. Um, and if and if you go here, then you'll shoot fire at my at my ghost. Um, still, that's better. 
Um, and especially given that it's the daytime, I don't think you can one shot the ghost. So I'll leave you there. And then what I'm going to need is people who can fight orcs, specifically orcish archers. So these units that I've recruited so far are not going to be so useful for that purpose. Uh... I will put you here. What have I got that's recallable? Um, mostly stuff that's kind of good, and I don't really want stuff that I don't want to die. Um, well, the, the Dryad and the Fugitive, uh, particularly this Fugitive, is going to be very helpful in defense, I think. Having someone who is extremely tanky and hard to hit is going to be useful. Other than that, all I can think to do unless I go for my Dryad. And the Dryad, I mean, it's a bit of a glass cannon. I'd, I'd much rather have a Forest Spirit at this point. Maybe I still will with these guys. Um, so I could go for an Outlaw. Um, or I could go for Spam, basically. Uh, and I'll probably need to do both. For now. See what I can do with, with the Outlaw. Um... Actually, maybe the Dryad is, is the better choice, simply because this whole unit line is pretty resistant to fire, so it's going to be decent against Elvish, Orch Orcish Archers. Not super resistant to Blade or Pierce, I don't think. Um, no, no, but no, not bad against them either. Um, and I can just deal a ton of fire damage, which will end up being useful. Okay, so then, um, because at the moment power is more important to me than long-term income, I'm going to go for the Dryad. Just recruit my two most powerful units and hope for the best. Everyone moved, good. Blue can't reach anyone, so it's just going to advance. This is going to get messy. This is going to get very messy. Green is just getting into position, not attacking yet. He will, I think. Sometimes the, the players, at the end of their turn, they will make attacks. No, not even. Okay. So... You can't quite reach that village, which is a shame. Since the orcs are trickling at me, um, it would be good to get a few kills before they arrive in, in, in their full force. Alright, uh, do I feed that experience to Tara, or do I feed it to a ghost? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's four experience, so we probably don't need to worry about this too much. Let's give it to the ghost, who then will probably die. Um, ah, well. There we go. How much do I want to go in for battle over here? I feel like I don't. Even it, despite the, uh, the possibility to pick people off one by one, simply because I'm going to be exposing myself to a lot of retaliation. Now my dry just needs to do that every couple of turns or so, and we're good. What about you, Anya? Um, you're 40% on the desert terrain. Um, so I'm hesitant to stick you out in front. Let me put a ghost there. If I do, the ghost will probably die. The 
the one person I think I can more or less safely try to fight is this archer. Because these guys can't reach. The only people who can reach are, well, this archer himself, this blue guy, this archer, this um... Yeah, it's a reasonably decent spot as long as this ghost doesn't die, which it probably will. Then again, I don't. I'm not likely to get the kill. I'll go at it with you. If you go there, you're likely to die. Um, what about back here? Maybe less likely to die? Yeah, the movement speed kind of puts a kibosh on that one. Alright, now, I either recall Outlaws or I recruit Spam. And I think at this for this particular turn, Spam is what I need. Um, now, the question is whether I go for Tough Spam or... I mean, skeletons in general are good against orcs, but they don't deal much damage, especially not during the day. Mind you, none of these units do, apart from the sprites, and the sprites are not not tough enough. So I'm going to go for the skeleton archers. See what the orcs decide to bring my way. As for Elinia and Anya. Um, and I could actually move Alinea to here, that would make my battle line a lot tougher. And Alinea herself is pretty resilient, so I think that's a good idea. Yeah, so we've got a line there where people can't cross. And Anya can come down here ready to join the fight. Durvan is even gradually catching up. Pretty unlucky. Yeah, you can attack those guys, don't mind. Yes, punch that lost soul to death. It's not banished though. Durban's coming in. Zanara the Necromancer is in a good position here, and... Let's see what happens. Let's see what this Necromancer can do to the Elkish Archer. Not hugely much. How many other archers are there around here? Um, only one that can uh, that can get in range of this position, so... It's going to be more experienced for my Wraith, I hope, yes. And you're almost at a level. Alinea, go home. Go home! Still daytime. Uh, in some ways that means I should press my advantage, especially on... I think the place to press my advantage is on this flank over here, because the uh, they can't reach it as easily. So if I stick my Dryad here, the Dryad should be able to do a good job. Yeah, Dryads don't have any problem with Orcish Grunts. Okay. 
all this terrain is quite bad, and this ghost is going to be vulnerable to archers if he's there. Money is not a problem yet, but it will be if this continues, and there are still quite a lot of orcs here. Not enough for me to just um, think, oh yeah, I'll clean those guys up. You come round. Thug or skeleton, thug or skeleton. Skeleton's better against most orcs. It's only the fire damage from the archers that I'm worried about, and there are still a bunch of archers around. Two, three, four, five, six. Six archers. Not good. Durvan, you're on your way. Good. Ghosts, you're chilling out in the background. And yeah, just in case anyone weirdly manages to flank me. And I'm going to put Helenia here so that if these skeletons survive, she can heal them. I feel like this, this, these two are the two most likely to be attacked. Again, the tempting effect of uh, ranged damage on skeletons. Alright, blue player moves in, blocks a lot of the places where the green player would go to attack. Maybe we'll, yeah. A little end of turn punch, try it on. Green player is just going to rearrange its forces. And looks like my battle line worked. And right, now the long dark is coming. Now the only problem with the long dark is that my... Well, two problems. Um, one is that my three uh, sprite line units are going to get... Uh, in trouble during it, and another problem with the Long Dark is that the Orcs are also more powerful during it, so I shouldn't get cocky, but let's try and roast as many of these stupid archers as I can. Ow! Oh no, okay. Uh, that's not good. Well, maybe... maybe you'll die. <laughs> we'll need to get off the house. Okay, you go around here. You stay where you are, and... You can do 6-3 against you, 6-3 against you. Okay, in that case, shoot the unit that's the bigger threat. <laughs> You come down here and attack the archer. You come down here and attack this archer. Okay, not terrible. Let's have some more archers. Elinia needs to go back to base for that to happen. And I'm still doing okay for gold. And it's still the case that no one can get around the edge of this formation. Except you, you can. Maybe I should just stick a ghost out here to ward you off. There you go. If you want to go and attack that ghost, be my guest. Be my ghost. Ah, lol. Okay, um, that, the disadvantage of that is it means that this orc archer can also attack the ghost. But that's actually fine, because then it wouldn't be attacking my necromancer, and also um, it'll get killed on the rebound by a whale. I'll have a whale of a time. Over here, got to be careful with my flame units, so I'm going to rescue Rodol of the Dryads and nape you in the Fire Fairy, stick you there so that next turn you can get healing. Um, don't really want to lose the house. I don't think I will. Can anyone reach it? Doesn't look like it. No. Not even, not even you. Or you. 
and you guys are way, way too far behind. So we're safe on that flank. Um, so Alinea, you come down here. Actually you, Illa, you take the house. If anyone does want to go around there, they'll get a nasty fugitive shaped surprise. And you come down here. You go there. Do you want to go anywhere else? Um, no, you should be fine though. Okay. Okay, they're really keen to go for my skeletons, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> These goblins moving very slowly across the desert. Oh no! It'll be like eight turns till you get to the combat, man. Uh, oh yeah. You too. Um, okay, everyone else is getting there, but equally, my troops are coming too. And you give just clonk this guy with your morning star. I don't want you don't need you to get the kill. Just want you out of my base. Move you back one. Put you here and hopefully have you get this kill. And then you're a spectre. And everyone will respect ya. Nice. Okay, now... Do you want to go there? That's a risky position for a powerful unit to put itself in. Okay, you go there. Now, you're on 40% there, which is better. Good, you get rid of that guy. You get rid of this guy, if you can. Good job. All right, now the number of archers around is looking distinctly less. Um, there's four left. There's one coming up from the south, but he's not going to be here for a while. Should I even push forward? It is tempting. It's night time, after all. But uh, I don't quite have the units to do it, I think. I mean, I could just plonk you one forward and have you do this. That's worth doing. <laughs> You stay there to guard against outflanking. And unless I want to dump Tara or some of my sprites on the front lines, I think I'm just going to go for more skeleton archers. I can eventually stop recruiting these guys. Um, I'm going to have a... Th should I have a thug? Don't want poachers or footpads here. Uh, maybe I could have another ghost, but the ghosts don't seem to be doing much for me at the moment. Um, another normal skeleton. Okay, there's another archer over here. So, there are five archers around, but uh, not all of them are in proximity. Oh, that's a bit of a hole in my line. No one can go there, though. Helps my, helps my income too if these guys get killed every once in a while. Ow! I can't keep this up indefinitely, but hopefully I don't need to. I should have moved Alinea out where she could heal. Who's going to go for who? Mm. You go for you. Alright, now... You... Can take out this guy. You can come down here... Take out this guy. Oh. 
this is looking better. Still think that uh, I should wait one more turn to push forward. Oh, not quite Malkeshar, but uh, you're handy to have around, that's for sure. These guys are too slow, you're too slow. This flank's pretty safe, so I could bring Tanya around. Tanya. Tanya. So, so far I've called her Anya, Tanya, Tara. Uh, great, great work, George. <clears throat> Ghost on the front lines. There are, no, there are not too many archers around anymore, so that should be fine. Now... I need some nice beefcakes to come and take out this guy. Um, I think I'll start with... Just bring you back up one for now. A uh -huh. little bit, little bit weak there. Okay, well, well... I could do this. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I could even, I mean, Durvan, ah, uh, you're not fast enough. You're so slow. So slow. You go there, sit next to Alinea. Fire folks, don't do anything just yet. I could put a ghost here. No, maybe that's the plan. Just for wailing. <laughs> and the green player uh, should be blocked. Is it a good idea to actually recruit more units now? Maybe I should wait a turn. Maybe the income is, is more valuable at this point. I should just stick Durvan here. Um, I can always recruit more next turn if, I, if I'm not desperate. But I don't think I should be desperate. In fact, it looks like I'm gradually gaining the upper hand here. Yeah. What I can always do... Bah! If I beat the green player... Is to push... Is to recruit some more in his face before I get the blue warlord. Okay, and the long dark has been... Ultimately pretty tragic for these guys. So this, if any, turn is the turn to push forward. So I'm going to have Durvan hopefully take this guy out. Um, no take out. But still not too bad. You go here. And I can even start to think about bringing my fire people around. Experience for you. Mm. 
Getting there, getting there. and I'm not so worried now. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Give those goblins down there something to do. And I can start to push forward. Um, this guy still has a fair chunk of income, so I don't want to get too overconfident, but... I think these units that I've got ought to be enough, especially since these are only goblins. And once I can start capturing these villages, that would be nice. Maybe I'll get another ghost, because I want something fast moving. Something that, in case any of these guys pop up again, which they might. I can summon two more spirits. Your health, you can't get back my health, I can. Oh. Alright, let's get you into another shadow. That will be beautiful for taking out this guy. Okay, there is a ghost here. I can lure that. Maybe with a dryad. 50% defense. Sorry, an errant soul. This is not a ghost. Nothing so vulgar as a ghost. Or maybe I should. I would be better to lure it with a spectre, actually. Well, you can. You can have either. Whichever you like. Pick your fave. Something nice to eat.
Ow! 12 damage. Like dicking around. No one can quite reach that house over there, which is a shame. Anya's fine, she can regenerate. Let's see if these uh, spearmen want to go for a go for the big bad spectre. Yeah, have both of them. Why not? And now the fire fairies become useful again because they're actually quite fast across the desert. And the skeletons are kind of useless. Oh, you're pretty fast. I want to lure you out into the desert though. Now my income is still cautiously optimistic, aka positive. Ah, run away! Oh, yeah, I mean, I can't blame them, not really. <sighs> I'm tempted to plonk the spectre down onto this house and have it attack this archer. The only thing that... Uh, causes me some concern is that then it can be reached by you, 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 and you. Uh, not you, okay, uh, only four, and you. Um, not you or you. Yeah. Well, that wasn't super effective, but... It's not going to be a problem either. You haven't moved either, so I guess you're going to want to come down. You've got a nice range of options. I mean, these tiles. And so there's only an archer here, so. Ah, oh, there's a... I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's annoying. Um, Zanara, deal with the situation. They, um, they're quite translucent, these guys. As, as my ghosts are, indeed. So, uh... But that's not really an excuse, is it? <laughs> 
Okay. Nice. Damage being dealt. Green unit, green leader repositions his goblins. Another banished spectre. All in the day's work. And it's now first midday, so it's a great time to do some fighting. You can come and fight this orc over here. Precisely what I was hoping wouldn't happen, obviously. Right, it's more important to get Durvan down here. Currently, this isn't the option that's all that risky. <laughs> yes, that noise. <laughs> okay, so, um, who have I still got to deal with? You're, you would be irritating if you're allowed to roam free, so I should get the Anya and the Ghost to take care of you. Block you in. No kill, I wasn't expecting a kill, that's fine. Um, it would be nice to kill you, because otherwise you might come and do the nasty on my spectre. And there's another archer here as well. Instead, I'm going to do this. The spectre's not at their strongest in this situation, but, uh, you know, could be worse. Alright, and now you two ghosts can deal with this one weak spearman. Good, three hits. You can get three hits as well, it will die. Oh well, that was too optimistic, but that's fine. <laughs> Go away. You. The magic of uh, archers. Okay, I think that was three misses on 70%. Good. Ugh! <sighs> 
Mm. How is Green still continuing to spam out so many weak units? It's really quite annoying. Um, you're a normal goblin. You're the Goblin Impaler. Well, you're quite weak. Even if I kill this guy, there's no guarantee that you will still survive. Still, I think it's worth the attempt. They are more than we expected! Send our messenger back to- Ugh. Ugh. Blast it! Their messenger escaped! Yes he did. Oh no, left him on two health. Could finish him with the with the fire fairy. So this fire fairy is the only unit I have left to move. I could fi finish the impaler, um, and I think actually that's the way. That's the only way to save this fire fairy who may still die. Or I could finish this archer. Yeah, no, sod it. Um, Will you die if I do that? You might. Um, you'll be in open terrain and you'll be surrounded. And you've got 40 experience, the other one's got 46 experience. Okay, well, I'll save you more. Oh, no! Okay, now just gotta deal with the uh, green, the goblins and these two orcish archers' revenge, whatever that happens to be. They might kill someone. They might well. Okay, yeah. An inexperienced ghost, that's fine. Wow, that was a very strange colour transition. It must be the, uh, it's the fact that there's a sandstorm coming in again. Obviously. Alright. Um, ah, Durban can reach. Durban can actually get in there and do some fighting. This skeleton can. Um, and it might be useful to have a skeleton with a bit of experience further down the line, so... You retreat a bit. You go here and bonk this guy. Durban might come in very handy against the... Uh, in fact, he will come in very handy against the Warlord down south. These poor skeletons. They just suck so much at moving. Alright, you go back here. Ugh. Down you go. Great, and that means you're close to Wraith slash Shadow status. Two more to deal with. One of them is you. Oh, 
nice work, Anya. Now that means Alinea can grab a house and get cozy. Hmm. Okay, well, I was going to recruit some more units, but honestly, it doesn't seem worth it. Especially since I've already got a bunch of useless units at the back. The crucial thing is to keep Durvin moving, because he's the one who's going to deal the damage. Zanara would be useful too. And now my income is looking glorious. Should I be allowing you to tank this damage? Would it be better to have Anya tank the damage? Would it be better for Anya to just go and attack? Uh, no, she might get attacked by the by the warlord himself if I do that. There we go. That'll do it. You won't get healing, but meh. That's, that's silly, actually, because it means that he just won't cross the river. Eh, oh well. Oh well, okay, he did cross the river at least. And the sandstorm is over. Ah, you're trying to outflank me. Well, I know your game. A big wallop there, big old wallop. More experience for Anya, take her closer to level 3. Now... <laughs> so, like I say, keep Durban moving. But don't let Durban take the uh, take the brunt of the assault. We've got a linear for that. This skeleton might be useful. You go there so that you're just out of range. And same with you. And you. Um, do you want to go and stand in the water? You just get um, your ass whooped by this. Uh... Mind you, if he goes into the water, I wouldn't be complaining. But I don't think you can kill me in one go. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Actually, you can. So, um, But not in the morning, I think. Not in the morning, crucially. 16-3. Um, 30% with 30 weakness, though. Yeah, not worth it. I do want you in on this, just not that in on this. Alright, let's see how we go from there. Okay, we got our shadow. And it's the daytime. And you can hopefully deal with this guy. Good stuff. Durvan, you come straight in. 
and slow the leader. I'm going to use you to take out this archer or try to. This is a big, a chunky, strong, resilient archer, and I don't seem to be able to hit it, so. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that was a very bad turn, and I still managed it. And you're not doing so well. And there's a bit of a blockade. Um... No, you can't do anything useful. So I'll put you over here. There's so many villagers down here. Let's get everyone heading towards the enemy leader at least. Now it's only the units that can actually reach, which include you, 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 and I'm not going to bother with you, you, and you! Alright, let's just farm for a bit of experience. <laughs> Three damage. Excellent. Well, I can even farm with experience for you. Oh, nice. All right. So, 14 health. Useless insects. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. I wasn't counting on that messenger and his swift mount. Regardless, our presence here was both predicted and awaited. This decidedly spells bad news. But I told you so. I did expect a trap from the very beginning too, girl. We, I, have been in situations like this before. But this time I won't let them succeed. Okay, that was a decent performance, 204 bonus gold, and uh, managed to dispel the shadows of my uh, rather crummy fighting in the last episode. So, this one, how difficult does it rate on the difficulty skating? Somewhere in the middle, I think, if you do what I did. I mean, I, I think I played it, I, I figured out the strategy that you need in order to do well in it, um, and got here in time use the right kind of units, that kind of thing. So I feel like I played it pretty well, unlike the previous scenario where I was kind of clum a sort of lob what's the word? Lumbering around like a buffoon. Um so you know, uh yeah I did well so but but and I, I probably would have died if it hadn't been for that. So yeah, this is a sort of medium difficulty kind of scenario. Um and much fun we see uh, we basically this is another scenario that we can kind of farm for good experience for our heroes, and it certainly played out that way. We got a few advancements. So now I got the necromancer. We got our first spectre. We got another shadow. Um, hopefully this one won't just get brutally killed like all the previous ones have. Um, and even my XP farming worked out well, too well in fact, because I would uh, I wanted Elenia to get the kill and get that uh, sweet sweet twenty four experience, but unfortunately it was not to be because both the Shadow and the Spectre hit with all of their attacks. Um, as far as losses are concerned, two Ghosts and four Skeleton Archers, meh, you know, uh, not really anything to write home about. Uh, 58 kills, so what a, uh, what a lovely mission. And uh, yeah, please leave a like on the video if you liked it. If you don't, please leave a dislike. And uh, Join me next time for the next scenario.